there are four different pathways through which the proteins are transported from the plant cell cytosol to the thylakoid lumen. SRP dependent pathway is one of them. SRP stands for signal recognition particle. Let us discuss about the SRP dependent pathway of transporting proteins to the chloroplast thylakoids. The cytosolic plastocyanin precursor protein has a carboxyl terminal domain and an amino terminal domain. The amino terminal domain has a stromal import sequence and a thylakoid targeting sequence. The stromal import sequence directs the import of precursor protein from the cytosol to the stroma through TOC complex present in the outer membrane of thylakoid. Now, the plastocyanin precursor protein reaches the intermembrane space. From here, the precursor protein is then imported into the stroma of thylakoid through the tick complex which is present in the inner membrane of thylakoid. Now the plastocyanin precursor protein reaches to the stroma. Inside stroma, the plastocyanin precursor protein undergoes cleavage to produce a plastocyanin and a cleaved stromal import sequence. This cleavage process is catalyzed by stromal protease. Due to this cleavage, the thylakoid targeting sequence in the plastocyanin is exposed. The cleaved stromal import sequence remains in the stroma. During the first step of SRP dependent pathway, the plastocyanin protein binds with a set of chaperons denoted as capital C. These chaperon proteins keep the plastocyanin protein in an unfolded state in the stromal space. The chaperon proteins then leave the unfolded plastocyanin protein. The exposed thylakoid targeting sequence then directs the plastocyanin protein to bind to a chloroplast SRP. The chloroplast SRP with bound plastocyanin protein then binds to the chloroplast SRP receptor present in the thylakoid membrane. The chloroplast SRP is closely related to bacterial SRP and SCCY translocon. The chloroplast SRP receptor mediates the movement of plastocyanin protein to the thylakoid lumen. After reaching to the thylakoid lumen, the plastocyanin protein undergoes cleavage to produce an unfolded plastocyanin protein and a removed thylakoid targeting sequence. This cleavage process is catalyzed by endoprotease. This unfolded plastocyanin protein then undergoes folding to form mature plastocyanin. Please like, subscribe and share.